Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 15 of my Barcelona FIFA 16 career mode. And you can see here, Paul Pogba on your screen. And well, wonder what's going to happen here. We're going to go for a move for the magnificent player that is Paul Pogba. He'll be an amazing player, I would think, at Barcelona. A player I love personally myself and a beast in FIFA. And we have money to use as well. So I thought I might as well. We're Barcelona. So I think a player like Paul Pogba uh, would be very exciting uh, for me to sign and to use uh, part of Barcelona. Because that was a big part of this series. I started Barcelona because I wanted to play for fun more than anything. I wanted to really enjoy the games I was playing, which I really do with Barcelona because I do like playing uh, with the players Barcelona have and playing in their style in part. Some people say I don't play exactly like Barcelona, but it's it's a mix of both. Like Sometimes when I really need to score a goal, if we're behind or whatever, obviously I'll go more attacking instead of uh, yeah, like more direct opposed to like passing all the time and everything like that uh, to try and get goals back, of course. But for the most part, yeah, it's really fun uh, playing in Barcelona's formation at the very least uh, with the players they have. But the first game in this episode is against Malaga away from home. Hopefully we can put in a strong performance and get a victory. We still need to try our best to win the league. But unfortunately, we make a mistake at the back. And on Legendary, uh, you make a little error and you will get punished like you're playing against a quality side and Malaga. Uh, they've got some decent players, but comparing it to ourselves, Barcelona, yeah, we really should be doing better and not conceding a goal like that. It was just very silly. Well, it wasn't a poor decision to pass it. Uh, the touch by Mathieu, I think that was, it, it was just poor. It was just poor, and that led to the goal, and Charles scores his fifth goal in the league so far this season. So Lionel Messi on the ball now, trying to create something as much as he does for Barcelona. Uh, so many times uh, goals come from Messi. Unfortunately there, maybe I did try to do too much, but Mathieu trying to make up for his error. Uh, Messi on the ball now. Messi, can he do something? He just falls down. <laughs> Not too impressive there, and we wasted the opportunity. But to be fair, Malaga... Uh, they did well to defend it, and here they score. The reason I paused it there, I was in disbelief that David De Gea didn't save that. All that money spent on him, and he couldn't save that opportunity. Oh, the, that shot had to be saved by De Gea, like, especially when you uh, pay that money for him, and just considering how good he is, regardless of how much you pay for him. Like, yeah, he should have saved that. He didn't look like he tried to, really. Um, that was a poor attempt. We need to get a goal back, and Messi steps up when we need him to, so we still have some sort of opportunity uh, to get a victory uh, from this game. We really needed a goal, so a couple of changes, substitutes, and maybe we can score a couple more goals, um, at least... At this point in time, that's what I thought in my head. If we get this goal here, I was really forcing players forward. You could see we had an extra number. I was going all out uh, to score that. And that's Messi's ninth goal in the Liga BBVA so far this season. You know Messi is a goal machine in real life. So I do want to use him a bit more on. Oh, yeah, this. Don't remind me. Just talking to myself here with the highlights. Oh, this this was so frustrating when they waste time. I was just so mad there that I, I slid in, and that's obviously going to be a red card for Iniesta, but that frustrates me as much as when I concede a stupid goal. Like when they're passing and they're going to the corner, it just oh, it, it frustrates me. You can tell, obviously. Uh, I'm just uh, reminiscing on it now. And not fun at all. Uh, but, yeah, I just hate that in FIFA. It's so annoying. Maybe realistic, but in FIFA, it's almost undefendable. You're either going to give away a foul or give away a throw-in. And it's just, yeah, really annoying. So I was, yeah, throwing players forward. And then Uche has the opportunity to finish. And to be fair, I'm going to be honest here, that was a really good strike. I thought, yeah, he probably wouldn't have scored. Maybe the goalkeeper would have saved it. So that's on De Gea as well. A couple of opportunities in this game, he didn't save it. Obviously, through errors as well of myself. Um, and again, that's with playing on Legendary. Uh, you make error and you get punished. But that is the challenge, of course. And we have to just head straight into the next game. That's that's the thing as well. You have to be on. You have to be at 100% uh, for the whole game. You can, can, you're going to concede on Legendary. Um, you can't really catch up and atone for the errors, like maybe on lower difficulties, like get a player back and catch up to him or something like that. But we do eventually 
uh, have to make a change, of course, with Iniesta uh, getting that red card. So not ideal for the next game. Iniesta is one of our better players. So if we lost in the previous game, uh, not too much hope going into the next game. Of course, it's one of those things, though, for you guys that play on Legendary, when you do lose a game, you feel as like, I just want to get into the next game and get a victory. That, that's pretty much it. And yeah, turn it around. Uh, so that was a suspension we have to deal with. Claudio Bravo, he's disappointed because he's been doing well. It's a weird situation. But De Gea, if he keeps spudding it up, we're going to have to uh, make a change, I suppose, uh, bring him back in. What else can you do, even though he's a new signing? Maybe needs time to adjust. But that's not even in a th that's not even a thing in FIFA, just maybe trying to make a slight storyline in the career mode. But yeah, De Gea hasn't had an impressive start uh, into his Barcelona career, even though it's very early. So this is actually the second leg in the quarterfinal against Deportivo. We do have a lead, so that's impressive. And now we're going to seal the deal. 50 million for Paul Pogba. Pogba, I should say. Paul Pogba. What do you think about the signing of Pogba uh, for Barcelona? I think it could be a mixed reception for him. Obviously, uh, splashing a lot of cash in a way could be unrealistic. But again, it's a video game. Uh, like I said, the reason why I started this career mode was to have fun uh, playing FIFA. And Barcelona is definitely uh, that kind of team. And it's getting that time in the year. Sometimes even with this career mode, maybe I'm not in the mood 100% to play a game. Maybe that's why I don't upload every single day FIFA videos because... Yeah, sometimes I'm just not in the mood to play it around this time in the year when it's in April and you're kind of at that stage where I've already played FIFA for quite the new FIFA game for quite a few months now. And yeah, it's a bit re repetitive um, in a way. So I don't really know <laughs> what you guys think in terms of making more regular videos. That's the reason pretty much i haven't played ultimate team for a while online may get back into that no series or anything maybe just do a squad builder or something like that maybe leave your thoughts on that but offline play against a cpu i i feel every so often i'll need a little break from it not like a major break just a little break but yeah do you think maybe i need that personally uh, in, what do you think um, I don't really know, and do some ultimate team, just squad builder videos, not a specific series, so people don't get mad when I stop doing it uh, because of lag. Don't forget, I live from Australia, and in Australia, I should say, and the internet is pretty poor, but yeah, we'll focus on this game, but I thought I should leave that uh, so you can uh, just give your feedback. If you'd like to see some squad builders, ultimate team, I think that will be the really only videos I could see myself doing, but on this game here, we do score a goal, and I like this goal scored here with uh, Sergi Sampo. I actually just passed that into the back of the net instead of shooting. Uh, that was pretty cool. That's what I like. There's a good chance like someone from Barcelona is going to finish like that instead of just blasting into the back of the net, so yeah, maybe realistic seeing that. So, in to the second half now we're winning 3-1 on aggregate so this game is a bit better now uh, compared to the last one anyway and this is Barcelona at their finest what I wanted to do in the previous game but I just I couldn't <laughs> it's a bit hard sometimes and that's 2-0 in this leg and 4-1 on aggregate so yeah we're doing uh, pretty well against Deportivo at least that was a really nice finish from Oliver Torres don't forget he was a signing at the start of the season uh, first goal in the cup as well. I think we can go on to win this. I think that would be a good sign. Like If we don't win the league, I think if we win the cup and go far in the Champions League, I think it should be enough. I'd like to hope that will be the case anyway because I'd love to keep doing this series because it's the most popular series on my channel. Like, and thinking about my future series, if you're wondering what I'm, what series I'm going to do in the future once FIFA 17 comes around, I think I'm going to stick with doing big teams because I really enjoy playing with like the best teams. Like people say, oh, you, you get boring, but yeah, to me, I I enjoy playing the game more with players. Like, yeah, the best players in the world, you know what I mean? I'm not saying that my team is full of the best players in the world, but, yeah, that's like teams that have quality players, pretty simple, compared to my Leeds career, which is a different kind of thing. But And that's another thing. Like Barcelona, views-wise, is more popular, and that's what I want to be doing. I want to make videos for my subscribers who want to, like, the majority of my subscribers, you know what I mean? People have subscribed to my channel. I don't want people not watching my videos if you're subscribed, like, or recent things will happen like uh, it is with YouTube. YouTube will delete apparent inactive subscribers, but maybe they're just not watching a certain series, but that's completely another uh, subject, But which is delaying me reaching 100k, even though it will come. Uh, but yeah, that's been happening recently. If you've noticed YouTube's subscribers are going up and down, that is why um, YouTube is deleting 
apparently inactive subscribers anyway. Uh, but like I said, that's a story for another day. As we get into this actually pretty big game, and it's a big game, but unfortunately we can concede uh, the first goal. Uh, I don't want to concede the first goal ever in games, but sometimes it just pans out that way, especially against a quality team like Atletico Madrid. Uh, they would actually be a nice, fun career mode to do uh, for you guys if you're wondering about a good career mode. Maybe if you're Barcelona and Real Madrid, you feel like they're just the best team, but Atletico Madrid, they have the kind of challenge. Well, it's not really a challenge, but the goal anyway, the goal there to... Yeah, kind of win the league and get better than uh, Madrid, uh, Real Madrid anyway. <laughs> yeah, Real Madrid and Barcelona. Um, they still have good players, but not as good as, uh, yeah, the Barcelona or Real Madrid. And again, uh, it's really poor defending. I tried to catch them offside, and when you fail to do so, that can happen on legendary. As I mentioned, they get one opportunity, and they finish. And this is what I mean. Maybe if I was playing on world class, my defender would have been able to catch up more. Maybe their striker uh, wouldn't be able to finish so perfectly. Uh, but either way... Uh, yeah, that was the end of the result. Again, like, like I say, when I lose a game, I move on to the next thing, like next game, as we're going to score here through Suarez, really quick goal uh, through the pass. Uh, it's the same with conceding. Like what I do exactly there, just get a goal uh, quickly. Uh, that's my next uh, plan of action. I don't really mull over and complain about it too much. Uh, in my view, well, I, I don't really complain about things anyway. Some people think when I make my videos, like <laughs> I complain, but I don't really complain. If I'm talking about where I can see the goal or something and give a reason for it, it just giving reasons for things uh, doesn't mean you're complaining about it. It's just yeah, giving a reason for why something happened. Uh, pretty simple as that. <laughs> yeah, anyway, unfortunately, we wouldn't we didn't really uh, kick on uh, from the goal we conceded, but they have a late free kick, and we're going to see what they're going to do. They play it short. It's Koke, and he wasted that, but unfortunately, we go down once more, and that could be a thing as well. If I'm not as much into the games, I know in probably recent episodes, you're probably noticing I'm saying a lot, but surely other people must be the same, like with playing against the CPU, like eventually, yeah, do you just get, I'm not bored, don't get me wrong, I'm not bored of it, it just feels the same, like, over and over, and you need a little break from it, like, like, what do you expect, like, I've played FIFA probably, yeah, like, so many years in a row, I was playing FIFA daily, pretty much, before I started making YouTube videos, a few years, I started, like, well, I've always played FIFA, so it's not like I'm started, but, yeah, when I finished school, uh, so I probably, yeah, about FIFA 09 time, I would stay home a lot and play FIFA. So, yeah, it's it's kind of interesting how much I've played FIFA in the last probably five or six years so consistently. And I do have a break every so often, but when you're a YouTuber and you're expected... People, are, again, talking about subscribe. People subscribe to you. You got People expect you to make daily videos of the videos you want. And it's different for me as I make Football Manager videos as well. And there's not many that do both, like both Football Manager and FIFA. So... Again, additionally, hope you guys can understand that. I always uh, make a lot of videos. I've got over 1,500 videos on my channel. So if I don't upload a video for a day, you can go watch my older videos. They don't disappear. Uh, I still would like to have some credit for the videos I've done up until now. Uh, I've actually uh, done YouTube for four years or later in the year to be four years, but heading towards that in July will be four years. So yeah, been grinding along and we're close to 100K. Hopefully we can reach it soon and hopefully YouTube will stop deleting uh, apparent in inactive subscribers. <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the very next episode.